Okay, good morning. Um, <clears throat> it's a real pleasure to be here with you this morning. If you think you can lay back comfortably in your chair now <clears throat> and you can wait until the coffee kicks in, think again. We're going to do a bit of an interactive exercise here. Um, we're going to uh, spend time to connect with each other and to really uh, experience exchange. Many of you have come uh, because the topic is around patience and there is a story I would like to share with you <clears throat> which happened to me and which completely changed the way I look about our industry and the, the work I do. In 2001, I was responsible for a chemotherapeutic drug um, and uh, everything was well, working well. I was global project head, so we had the Matrix team thinking about new registration trials and uh, we went to FDA to think about uh, new uh, programs that we want to put in place. And then suddenly I got a phone call from my mother and she said, uh, I've di have been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And then two weeks later, I got the same phone call from my mother-in-law and she was diagnosed with breast cancer. So you can imagine this was a, a huge shock uh, for us, the whole family. And it was a very uh, tough period to uh, go through. Um, clearly, it is a moment where all these couple of Mayo curves that you see at uh, Congresses suddenly become very tangible. They become very personal. They are not dots anymore. They are a family, a friend that are behind these curves. And that's the, the exercise I want to do with you. For me, it was giving me a lot of comfort that actually the drug I was responsible for was given to my mother and also to my mother-in-law. And I saw the effect it did for them. They were able against the other chemotherapeutic drugs to suddenly go and be outside of the hospital to play tennis, to go skiing, despite being under chemotherapy. And that made me very proud. And uh, it's something that I wanted to share with you because I think all the work that you do also impacts somehow on other people's lives. And so let me uh, just do an exercise with you. And I would like to ask you to kind of come out of your uh, comfort zone. And let's start with this number, one in 500. Anybody has an idea what this is? I will tell you, it's the incidence of a genetic disease, familiar hypercholesterolemia. These patients have, uh, by a genetic defect, a very high level of cholesterol. And therefore, many of these patients develop actually very early on in their life uh, cardiac events. And uh, many of them die very early at the age of 35, uh, 40, especially if they are badly controlled. So let me ask the question, anybody in the room knows someone, either in your family, friends, colleagues, who have uh, FH. Uh, please stand up. So please stand up. Thank you very much. Please keep on staying. Huh? Now, we go to the next one. You can advance my slide, please. OK, one in 200. So this clicker does not seem to work. I wave when I want to have the next click. No, now you go back. OK, there we are. No, advanced one. Thank you. So one in 200 is the incidence of cancer in people older than 20. So if you know anybody who has cancer in your family or friends, please stand up as well. So please keep on staying. So we go to the next one, one in 130, rheumatoid arthritis. Anybody who has people in their family with rheumatoid arthritis, please join. Going to the next one. Asthma. Anybody who has somebody in the family with asthma, please join. Now we go to diabetes. Diabetes. Anybody who has diabetes in, uh, in the family, please stand up as well. So we see very few people still sitting, probably 10. Now, headache. <laughs> okay, if you don't stand yet, uh, I'm not sure if you, if you're able to go out of your comfort zone. <laughs> okay, now look around. Isn't it amazing? 
So we are all affected by those diseases and many of you, of course, work on those diseases because there are diseases which are very prevalent and they are very impactful, uh, what happens in a family when you have a, a diagnosis of those.